I love using flag designs for posters, for prints, for t-shirts, coffee mugs. But what if I want to change the shape of this? What if I want to make it something else like a heart, for example? Can I do that? I can. I can do it easily and I can do it free. And I'm going to show you how right now. There's actually a free tool online and it's sponsored by Adobe Photoshop. It's called Adobe Photoshop Express. You can see the little logo there in the top left hand side and the website is photoshop.adobe.com. You just need to sign in and you just need to either create a free account or you can even just sign in with Google and Facebook, that sort of thing. So I have an account. I'm going to sign in right now. Okay, I've signed in and now it's just going to ask me select an image to edit. Very easy to do. I love how simple the interface is with this thing. I'm just going to click upload file and I'm going to upload my American flag picture. Okay, so I've uploaded my US flag design and I just did that by clicking the open image button on the top right hand side and just putting my image into the window. And now I've got a couple different options. I can zoom in on the image by clicking the little plus button down at the very bottom. You'll see a plus button and a negative button. Click the plus button a few times and you'll see the image gets quite zoomed in. There's also a little negative button if I want to zoom back out. You can zoom way out. You can zoom way in. And if you've zoomed in and you'd like to move around inside of the image, there's a little hand button. And when you click the little hand button, now it's highlighted, I can drag this image around up, down, side to side, that sort of thing. So I'll just zoom back out. Okay, and now I'm going to crop my image. So I'm going to make my image into a shape. It could be a heart, a circle, a square, that sort of thing. Just make sure when you go into the crop tool, and that's on the left hand side, there's a little crop and straighten button. Just make sure the little hand icon is not selected. So now we're going to be working in the image itself. We're not just dragging it around. So now I'm going to click on crop and straighten on the left hand side. Inside the crop menu over on the right hand side, there's a shapes section. And so I'm just going to click on the star to start. And we can see here the star is now overlaid over top of the flag. And I can move the star around. Just, I'm just clicking on the mouse and I'm just holding it down and I'm just dragging it around. Now, if you'd like to make the star exactly the same, so let's use circle, for example, and you notice now it's like an oval. It's a bit scrunched. Well, let's say you'd like to make a true circle. Very easy to do. Just make this as small as it will go. So I'm just scrolling it right down up into the corner and I'm making it into a little square. Okay. And now I'm going to hold down the shift key and the shift key locks the aspect ratio. The width and the height are now locked because I've got the shift key down and I can make it as large or as small as I want. So now it's a true circle. Now I can just move the underlying image the way I'd like. I'm happy with that. I'll click crop image and now it just crops it and it makes an, a new image based on my original plus my shape. Okay. Now, if you don't like that, just hit control Z, control Z, depending on what country you're in. It's the same key. Control Z, control Z takes you back to just, it just undoes everything. So now we're back to this. We click crop and straighten on the left-hand side. And now I can click a heart, for example, or I can click a square or I can click a stop sign, which is the octagon, a, a rounded square. So if you wanted to make like a decal, you could make like, you know, some sort of a, rounded square image. But if you want to make it a true, like let's say you want to make it a star, but you don't want to just eyeball it and you're going, oh, I don't know, I think that's exact. Just make it all the way as small as it will go. Hold down the shift key. And now the aspect ratio is locked. And so now you can make the star design exactly how you would like. The star itself is a true square, so to speak. The aspect ratio is the same. Hit crop image and we're looking good. Now you can always eyeball it as well, but if you'd like to make it truly square, that's the way you would do it. From here, very easy to do. I just click the download button at the top and I can download the item either as a JPEG and I have a sliding scale on how to how high quality I'd like it to be. And you'll notice the size is changing, which is a really nice feature. I'll make it a hundred 
or I could also save it as a PNG and that will give me a transparent background as well. So I hope you found that helpful. Nice quick tip on how to use the crop and straighten tool. There's a bunch of different ones there. There's six total. There's a square, a heart, a star, a square with rounded corners, which is nice, a circle, and then an octagon. Lots of nice tools there for the artist who is interested in making some funky shape designs. Hope you found that helpful.